Cassata ice cream cake is made out of some cake, some ice creams, and some nuts. And it can be very crowd pleasing, so impress your loved ones or guests with this yummy, colorful dessert treat. When I posted my status on social media with cassata ice cream cake, many of you wanted recipe so badly, so I uh, decided to show you guys few steps that I recorded and thank God I recorded so here we go mm, Yum Hello, namaste and welcome back to Bonus Kitchen and Living uh, Today I'm so excited to share with you all shortcut recipe uh, I'm making cassata ice cream for my upcoming a little get together and I thought I would like to share this recipe with you all if you want to make for your next occasion just in case. So basically cassata ice cream uh, cake is the layer of ice creams and cake. Um, I am going to use few shortcuts for example for making cake I'm going to use cake box and uh, some of the ice creams that I can find easily in the market I'm just going to go ahead and buy them and the flavors that I can't find in the market I'm going to make at home so most of the time I end up making um, mango ice cream at home because I have a fresh mango pulp actually um, so I thought I want to make mango ice cream at home as well and the pistachio ice cream because that's hard to find where I live but by all means if you can get hold of all the ice creams in the market you can go ahead and use the ready store bought ice creams but if you prefer making at home i have already shared all the flavors that i'm going to use today in this video and i'm going to actually show in this video as well uh, mango ice cream and the pistachio ice cream i'm going to use uh, vanilla ice cream and um, strawberry ice cream store bought so let's get started the very first step is to prepare or bake the cake. I am just following box cake measurements and instructions to bake the cake. If you want to bake egg free cake, please follow my other videos of eggless cake. Each cake box makes two bread loaf size tray of cassata ice cream. So basically I am sharing the recipe for two cassata trays here. Once the cake is baked, allow um, the cake to cool completely and I prefer to bake the cake a day ahead so that way it becomes a little easier to prepare this uh, dessert overall. Preparing this dessert at home is actually pretty easy but it takes a little bit of a patience uh, because you have to wait until ice cream layer is set. But I will be sharing some tips um, with you all. Um, to put this dessert together quickly as well. Next, to prepare pistachio ice cream, boil cream or milk and soak pistachio in boiling cream. And I usually do this in my blender cup so that I don't have to transfer. Let pistachio soak for about two hours and grind to a paste as much as possible. Mix pistachio paste into softened vanilla ice cream. Now be sure that you have a little softened ice cream uh, so that way it gets a bit little easier to mix. Add green food color if desired. Mix it all and keep aside. To prepare mango ice cream, whip the cream to soft thick. Add mango pulp and food color if desired. Mix it all well. Add sugar or condensed milk to sweeten the ice cream but the mango pulp I'm using is really sweet so I'm not going to add additional sugar here. I love to add fresh chopped orange pieces in my mango ice cream but totally optional. Now, ready to assemble cassata layers. 
first layer is going to be a slice of cake so cut the cake into slices about half inch and place into the tray now if you feel the cake is a little dry milk can be sprinkled don't add too much milk or else the cake will crystallize or get hard upon freezing next layer of strawberry ice cream and i am using ready strawberry ice cream if you want to take your cassata to the next level add some tutti frutti and color to the store-bought strawberry ice cream sometimes i do this but sometimes i don't depends on my mood So basically once you have the ice cream just up, layer it. If the ice cream is like icing and not soft runny, go ahead and layer with mango ice cream. But if the layer of ice cream is soft runny, freeze until the layer is set before layering it again to get the great looking layers. Since my mango ice cream is soft and runny, I am going to freeze now uh, for about 2 hours and when the layer is set, uh, it's time to layer with cake slice again and then layer with pistachio ice cream. Freeze again for about an hour and layer with vanilla ice cream. garnish with lots of nuts, tutti frutti and cherries. Nuts like cashew, pistachio, dry fruits like raisins can be used as well. And our cassata ice cream cake is ready. If you are a chocolate ice cream lover, you can also layer with the chocolate ice cream as well. I made one tray with chocolate ice cream layer as well. Alright, so all the Kazana ice cream trays are ready. And here is how I packed them. You must be thinking, what have I, what have I done? Uh, but there are a lot of things in our freezer, like, you know, like garlic and stuff like that, some other spicy. Uh, stuff in there or could be anything and I don't want any kind of smell or the taste get into my dessert so I make sure that I pack them really well so though I have used good amount of foil and everything uh, I just want to make sure that I keep everything secured um, so that nothing moves while we try to move other stuff into the freezer um, so uh, you can use any type of bag that you use like a freezer friendly uh, bags even and i couldn't wait um, to try it out so we tasted the dessert last night um, just to see how it has turned out i mean it is going to turn out good because all these flavors and all this nice yummy cake and everything so it is obviously that the uh, great tasting dessert um, but just wanted to or I could say that I couldn't resist to eat anyway. Okay, so sometimes it may happen that the layer uh, may not look so good, but it tastes amazing, trust me. And um, I have messed up a little bit yesterday when I prepared this dessert, I know that. So the layers are not perfect, but the dessert overall tastes amazing. So let me show you how it looks like now. Here is the one that I already cut. I don't know if you can see the layers, but look at how amazing it looks. And the layers are actually perfect uh, for this tray. Um, so let's cut it and let me show you the close view of this yummy dessert. Look at all these three big trays of cassata ice cream cake. And as you can see, this um, layers here. It's time to cut and uh, let me show you how amazing those layers look. If you uh, place the wax paper or the butter paper, you can easily um, lift 
the, this dessert. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the whole thing. As you can see, it makes it easier to lift this whole cassada ice cream cake. And I'm going to bring this onto this tray. So I'm going to slice it up. And bring on to the serving tray. And look at this yummy looking dessert. And that's the piece of orange. As you can see that we added fresh orange. Look at this yummy looking dessert. I have my dessert plate ready. Look at this yummy looking dessert. Colorful. Flavorful. It started melting, so I am so ready to dig into it. Mm. Just amazing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video making of colorful, flavorful cassada ice cream cake. So my homemade, or you could say like a shortcut. <laughs> Uh, please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. You can uh, uh, visit my website bhavnaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinners, Bhavnas Kitchen is everywhere. You can download Bhavnas Kitchen app totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself. Thank you for watching and see you soon.